Tonight we're learning more about one local facility that's housing migrant children separated from their families at the border. CBS 13 Steve Large joining us now with more on this. Steve. Christina and Tony, yeah, we've learned that at least a dozen of these migrant children are being housed in Fairfield. The federal government is not confirming that, and even the Congress member who represents the area says he doesn't know exactly how many there are or where they are from. CBS 13 has learned this Fairfield building is home to a care facility housing migrant children detained and separated from their families at the border. The facility, run by a nonprofit called BCFS, has a website that touts 70 years of experience caring for at risk populations and partnerships with a number of government agencies, including the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. No one at the Fairfield facility would speak to me. A woman working on site told me to leave the private property. The woman didn't identify herself. She escorted me onto this public sidewalk and handed me a business card with the contact information for the Department of Health and Human Services. My repeated calls to the agency were not returned. In our district, we need to know. Congressman John Garamendi, speaking from his cell phone at the border, said he was working to get details on the children housed in Fairfield, and federal agencies are stonewalling him. We've been stonewalled by the uh, refugee uh, response organization that's specifically responsible for caring for these kids. Very, very little information from ICE and from the Border Patrol. Garamendi is scheduled to tour a Texas border detention facility Saturday. The Trump administration has asked the Department of Defense to create space on military bases to house up to 20,000 children. A similar plan four years ago designated Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield as a possible site for a wave of unaccompanied youth crossing the border then. It was never used. I think if it's on a military base, we have a much better chance of knowing who is there. Now, as we mentioned, CBS News is reporting that children separated from their families who are still at the border have been reunited tonight. For the children who have been transported to facilities all across the country, like the one here in Fairfield, the timeline and process for getting them back to their parents is still unknown. Still lots of confusion and questions, no doubt. Those are the key words. Let's talk about another trip to the border now. U.S. Senator and former